This portion of today's video is sponsored by Bellway. You guys know I love Bellway and all of their amazing fiber products. Today I'm taking my favorite, which are the super fiber capsules and of course the gummies. You guys, these are my favorite things ever. I always start my day off with three of the gummies and five of the super fiber capsules. For those of you guys who are unfamiliar with Bellway, they are revolutionizing wellness with their natural fiber supplement powders that promote healthy digestion. They're made with organic psyllium husk and real fruit goes down easy and out real smooth if you know what I mean. Lack of fiber causes all kinds of uncomfortable digestive issues like bloating and constipation but Bellway definitely remedies that with their super fiber products that will get you and your gut back on track and feeling good. My favorite supplements are the capsules and the gummies. You know I have a hard time with pills but these ones go down super super smooth and the results are great. What I truly love about these products are that they are organic, vegan, kosher and specifically in the gummies there's no sugar added so if that's something that interests you because it definitely interested me not adding all those extra sugars into my body this is a supplement for you you guys could definitely check out their bundle deals again they're simply amazing and why not buy them in bulk you know just stock up on these products so that you don't run out you guys can see it here on the screen or you guys could head over to bellway's website and use my code rihanna25 to get 25 percent off of your very first order at bellway again thank you so much to bellway for sponsoring this portion of today's video I'm Re, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, babe, hit the subscribe button because you're gonna wanna stay. If you're returning, hey besties, it's so good to see you guys again. We're back with another video. Yes, we're back. And I don't really know what it's, what it's really looking like. I don't feel too great today. So we're just, you know, taking a day, taking it very easy. I know I have to clean. So this might very well be like a clean with me video because cleaning must be done specifically in my kitchen and in my living room. I just want to make sure that like my house is smelling good, it's looking good. But not only that, but that is like actually clean, okay? Because there's a difference between like just like tidying up and then cleaning, but we gonna clean today. I'm literally not tasking myself with anything crazy because who wants to do that on their day off not me so as you already saw i took my morning supplements and i made myself some breakfast i also made this coffee the coffee is a one the whipped cream is a zero out of ten i do not recommend it it is the vanilla salted caramel whip from whipnotic is giving very much whipped cream with salt in it i don't know why i bought it i already know i don't like whipped cream but here we are wanting to try something new it's just like whipped cream with a little bit of salt that's literally all it's giving is giving don't buy it if you could spare yourself do it because it's not good but i mean i'm not gonna waste this I'm gonna mix it in nothing crazy anyway how was y'all thanksgiving was it great did you guys eat lots of turkey i don't know about you guys but i'm not big on turkey like i'm not big on like a turkey breast like if I see a whole turkey there, I might have like the smallest slice of it, but I'm not like really big on turkey. I'm big on sides though. So like the greens, y'all can keep them sweet potatoes. Y'all can keep them. Stuffing with gravy, extra gravy, the macaroni and cheese, sausage, rice, all of that. Mm -hmm, give me that. But y'all could really, y'all could really keep a turkey. Oh, and um, cornbread stuffing. I don't like that either because I don't like cornbread. Y'all can keep that. That and then potatoes, the sweet potatoes. Mm -mm. No, man. My Thanksgiving was so good. I was so glad I got to see my family. I was only there for two days, so it's not like I had a super long time, but I'll be back in like two weeks to see them, which is so exciting. I don't know. This Thanksgiving, I was just very like thankful. One, because I have realized something. 
I have been ungrateful my whole life. Jackie Hill Perry talked about this too, but I, y'all know how much it costs for your mamas and aunties to be making this Thanksgiving dinner? Are you joking? Like when you're the adult holidays, they don't hit the same anymore because you're the one that's footing the bill. You're the one that got to put all the labor in, all the work in. The amount of money people spend on Thanksgiving food is insane. Like, I don't know why that shook me, but I was just forever very, very grateful this, I almost said this semester, this Thanksgiving, because one, like I'm able to be with my family, Family, but two that I didn't have to be the one for the bill <laughs> glory be to God cuz I don't know what I'm gonna do when I have a family just kidding y'all know me I'm a throw down but still it's a lot of money but yeah I've been grateful I've been ungrateful my whole life because I have never even been like thank you so much to everybody who has cooked the food bought the food all of that like I just know that funds were tight after Thanksgiving. And then they have the audacity to put Black Friday, the day after our holiday, where we're supposed to be so thankful for everything that we have. Insane. Anyway, what else is going on? I was craving a bagel this morning and I I don't know why, but I've been craving peanut butter and jelly. So we did a peanut butter and jelly bagel. These are the better bagels. If y'all have never tried these, first of all, you need to make a swap because first of all, they're delicious. But two, they're healthier. There's 26 grams of protein and like five net carbs in there. So yeah, they have regular ones. It's like just like a plain bagel. And then they have an everything bagel one too. So I'm just like slowly enjoying this. I also started a new K-drama. And when I tell you it has me in a choke, hold i don't know what kind of crack they be sprinkling into these k-dramas but i'm hooked <laughs> baby i'm hooked okay i started watching it i think it's called the king's affection matter of fact let me not lie let me see what it's actually called while i'm waiting for it to load it's on netflix all the good k-dramas are on there and you know i have seen me a k-drama that i'm obsessed with but the reason i'm really watching this is because you yeah, remember when i was watching extraordinary attorney Wu? it was about the lawyer who was on who had autism spectrum disorder well attorney Wu is the crown prince oh my gosh it's so it's oh good i had to support my girl again because she was great in that and she's even great in this the king's affection oh my gosh it is just so good i think there are 20 episodes all together and they're usually about like an hour an hour and five minutes long but i'm on episode six i just started it last night so good you know what i think it is it's that a lot of them are very wholesome not all of them but most of them are very wholesome like they when they hold hands that is a big deal they're super dramatic like this would never happen in real life but i'd be eating it up the hopeless romantic in me is like lord lord i know these are fictional characters but please i see what you're doing for others on the big screen because like in this last episode i was just watching <clears throat> so i'm not going to tell you too much about it because i want y'all to go watch it it's but the crown prince, who's really a princess, but crown prince, uh, but nobody knows, just, you know, been overworking herself and she's like sleeping and like she's having nightmares and all this stuff because, you know, lots of responsibilities. And she gets up because she's supposed to have like a tutoring session. I just like spilled peanut butter. She's supposed to have a tutoring session, but the tutor didn't get the memo that she wasn't supposed to meet at that time. She's sleeping and she wakes up and she's like stumbling all over the place and just whatever. She bumps a shelf or like a bookcase and this glass vase is about to fall on her and he sees it and he like literally runs to her and saves her and it was like this whole like one minute interaction of just them staring at each other holding each other but it's like also kind of weird because like he also doesn't know that she's a woman i think he suspects but like yeah but it's so good like if y'all need something to watch the king's affection is the show to go to okay so good there was one that i wanted to watch it's called my demon but you know exactly why I'm not watching it, okay? We don't need to be watching none of that. But I wanted to support because one of one of my favorite K-drama actors is the lead guy. And I wanted to support him, but I just, you know, I can't get into it. Like when you say demons, I'm out. Because baby, that's real. I don't care how cute you make it, that's real. So we're not going to be doing that. But anyway, so after I'm done eating this bagel, I'm going to get up and we're going to start cleaning. I don't really know what else today is going to hold. I honestly truly don't. It might just be that. Maybe a little Bible study. We could do a little Bible study together. Yeah, let's do that. Let me just say this. Do I feel like cleaning? Absolutely not. But are we going to clean? Absolutely. Absolutely yes, because I am stewarding the things the Lord has given me, okay? He can't bless you with more. He can't trust you with more if you don't even steward what you got here, right here, right now in front of you. So if your house is a mess and it needs to be cleaned, get up. We'll do it together. I'll put some cool jams on. I won't even, actually, matter of fact, I won't even really talk through it, like all of that. Go to the cleaning part, listen to the vibes, listen to the jams. I'll pop in and out, like just narrating what I'm doing. But other than that, yeah, we'll just, you know, we'll vibe together. So if you got to put on your own jams, if my jam's not doing it for you, okay? Because, you know, sometimes, you know, the non copyrighted stuff, you got to be real careful. It's not always, you know, a banger. But, you know, get up, get your gloves, get your cleaning supplies, and let's knock out this kitchen and wherever else needs to be cleaned.
Hey y'all, good morning. So it is the next day before work, so it is super duper early, but I didn't get a chance to check in with you guys last night after I got finished cleaning. Cleaning went super well. It didn't take that long. I was just dragging my feet because I didn't want to do it, but my house smells good. It looks good. It's clean. Honestly, I don't know what it is lately, but my obsession with smell good products is insane okay and now that my house is bigger it's hard to keep all areas smelling like how i like it to smell it never smells bad it just i like there to be a scent an identifiable scent in every room of my house so now that my house is bigger i have a lot more room so my tiny little apartment she was cool i could use like three or so little plugins but in this place we need way more than that and the vanilla caramel scent that i have in all of my plugins right now 
she's doing the job and i want to use as much of it as i possibly can because they are limited edition i think they're only here for the holidays so like i want to soak up as much of this as i can because it smells so good also that carpet cleaner stuff that i use the powder oh i'm sucking up i'm stocking up because why didn't y'all tell me it smelled like that? It smells so good. Okay, so good. Anyway, we have a little sprinkle of Jesus moment because I wanted to share this with you guys. I didn't get to share with you guys my Bible study from last night. So I figured we could just wake up early in the morning and we could just chit chat about it together. So we'll make this really brief because I do have to go to work this morning. But the scripture that I read comes from James chapter one, verses two through four. Yeah, two through four. And it says, consider it nothing but joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you fall into various trials, be assured that the testing of your faith through experience produces endurance leading to spiritual maturity and inner peace. And let endurance have its perfect result and do a thorough work so that you may be perfect and completely developed in your faith, lacking in nothing. <laughs> That's from the amplified version. Consider it all joy when trials arise. The testing of your faith produces endurance leading to your spiritual maturity. Oh, and don't, and don't try to work through the endurance. Let it run its course and do a thorough work so that our faith will be completely developed. We know that your girl struggles in the area of patience, right? Okay. I feel like I, I don't know what it is, but I feel like I try very, very hard. I feel like I'm very, very patient. The fact that I'm still waiting, like I feel like I have been patient, but it's this scripture right here that reminds me just how impatient i am because the moment the moment something tests my faith i'm so uncomfortable and i want to run back to comfort do i run back no but do i want to yes that is the very human part of me so with this let's just talk about it your faith is going to be tested and this is not a negative statement it actually is something you should be you should expect it's in the word of god there will just be some trials some storms that your faith won't be able to prevent. That's just what it is. And so I'm just here because I need to encourage myself. Okay, when we have these talks, it's really me speaking to myself, but if it could bless somebody else, <laughs> Glory be to God. So when these tests and these trials come towards us, we need to remember, I need to remember that I, we are more than a conqueror. We're not stuck in the storm. We're simply going through the storm. And you know, like I know that a storm does not feel great. You wanna get to comfort. You wanna get to where it feels safe. You wanna get to an area where you are in control of the things around you. But when you're in the middle of a storm, <laughs> the Lord is like, you are not in control, girl or sir. You not in control at all. Just go through it because I'm here with you. And so the real thing that I'm really like sitting here with is that right now, the easy thing to do would to be go to find safety, to go to find comfort to the things that I'm familiar with. But instead I have to one, remind the storm that God is within me. Psalms 512 says that favor surrounds me like a shield. So the storm, <laughs> can't get to me. Yes, I'm going through, but I'm not stuck here. And so the real encouragement today, instead of being so uncomfortable and not waiting well and not having faith and getting defeated when something I'm praying for isn't coming at the time that I want it to come, I speak the word over myself. You counteract the storm with the word of God. Another translation of the scripture I read this morning comes from is obviously still from James 1, 2 through 4. Come on, Rihanna. But it's from the Message version, the Message Bible. It reads, consider it a sheer gift, friends, when tests and challenges come at you from all sides. And when I tell you it's not funny, but the way I giggled because I'm like, yeah, yeah, such a gift. Because sometimes these tests be testing, okay? They be testing every area of me. And I'm like, this is, consider this a gift, okay? Okay. You know that under pressure, your faith life is forced into the open and shows its true colors. So don't try to get out of anything prematurely. Let it do its work so you become mature and well-developed, not deficient in any way. Your faith life is forced into the open under pressure. It's not enough to get up here and say that, oh, I have crazy faith. I'm standing on the craziest faith of my life. I have faith, right? Because we know that we say it, we say, and we quote, for we know that it is not possible to please God without faith. We know this, but when it comes time, when the pressure is applied, are we really standing on business? Are we really? Because for me, I had to check myself because I'm like, I'm saying that I'm having the craziest faith ever. I'm standing on what God said. I'm standing on the promise. I'm standing on X, Y, and Z, and I'm gonna have the craziest faith because it's only crazy until it happens, right? And then I have to wait six months longer than I thought, a year longer than I thought, even two weeks longer than I thought. Like. 
The moment that happens, I'm like, oh God, it's not gonna happen for me. Are we really standing on business or are we just out here saying it? Are we just quoting scriptures and not even realizing the power that it packs? For without faith, it is impossible to please God. Do you hear what I just said? Do you hear what I just said? Girl, where's your faith at? Sir, where's your faith at? We have to talk about it because we can't just fold the moment it doesn't go our way. God's ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. And even though, even though sometimes that's a hard pill to swallow because we want what we want when we want it, it's like, we also have to do our part. God knows, right? The thing is, God knows. <laughs> He knows that we were gonna struggle with this. He knows it's hard, which is why it's important that you keep getting back up and trying again. And the whole point of me saying this is that it's okay. You might have wavered in your faith. God knows that you're gonna waver in your faith. He knows this. He's fully aware because we are in constant battle with our flesh daily and the flesh will literally try to snatch your faith so quickly. But to counteract that, we need to be in our word and speak the word because the word is true. The word is the truth. And I just feel like I had to share that this morning because that's where I currently am right now. Like lately, life has been so good. God has been so good to me this entire year. And I don't know why I get caught up on the one thing or the couple of things that I've been praying for that I do not see yet. And right now I see nothing, radio silence, no movement, no action at all. But one, we walk by faith and not by sight. So my faith has to see it before I see it. And I tried this exercise. I saw this a long time ago like a year, a year ago, a transformation church when they were doing their prayer, Monday night prayer. I think it was Pastor Bree. I think that's her name. She got up there and she was like telling her testimony about how she was praying, her and her husband were praying for a baby. And she said, you know, she couldn't see it. So she, we did this exercise where she said, I want you right now to think of that thing that you're having faith for, but you kind of can't see it. She's like, what is that thing? Right? And you have to identify that thing. And then she's like prayed. And then she says, now close your eyes and see it and i literally had to bring that back i don't even know why i remember that but like a whole year and a half ago i remembered her praying that and doing this exercise and i was like oh my gosh like right now i can't see it everything is blurry everything looks like it's choppy it's in bits and pieces i can't see it as clear as i did before and then the moment i prayed about it and i closed my eyes i could see it so i was like girl you gotta hold on you gotta stand on business you gotta stand on this word so if you need that encouragement today just know that you are not alone but that you must you must renew your mind daily in the word of God and you need to be able to speak the word of God over your situation because <laughs> tell the storm, tell your flesh who resides inside of you. Yeah, that part, the Holy Spirit. The storm might be storming, but our God be guided, okay? Jesus does not play about us. Not now, not ever. And if he's done it before, he will do it again. And if he's doing it for others around you, he can and will do it for you. Just stay here endure through it i know it doesn't feel good i know it doesn't look good it doesn't sound good it all looks crazy it looks impossible it looks like it's not happening it looks like there's no movement there's movement but you need to be able to see it before you see it with your faith so that is just my little sprinkle of jesus moment that's just the thing that i'm sitting on right now this is the thing that i am meditating on because i need it i love you guys so much but i gotta get up and go to work because adulting is so good but yeah, thank you guys so much for sticking around for this vlog. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Also be sure to turn on your post notifications. That way you can be notified every time I drop a new video. And until next time, babes, I'll see you in my next. Mm -hmm.